How's it going, everybody? This is Ableton Certified Trainer Brian Funk, aka Afro DJ Mac, and I want to talk to you today about how panning works in Ableton Live 10. So there's been a nice little change here that I'd like to show you. So the pan control in Live 10 will basically move things around in the stereo field. It'll move things to the left or the right. But actually, what it's really doing is just turning down the volume of the left channel or the right channel, depending on where I turn the knob. So I've got this stereo file, this little clip of percussion here. And maybe we'll just zoom in here nice and tight so we can see this on in a larger view. And you'll notice I've got slightly different sounds on each side. When I turn the pan to the left, I'm actually turning down the volume of the right channel. So a hit like this one right here will not be heard because I've turned down the right channel. And when I turn it all the way to the right, I'm turning down the left channel. And now we'll hear this hit right here. This one too. But we don't hear some of these hits like this one here. It gets lost because we're just turning up and down the volume. This is fine when you have a mono track. It just sounds like you're moving things left and right, which maybe I'll just show you with my drums here. This is basically the same thing on each side. So when I go to the left, we're just turning down the right side and it sounds more like we're just moving the drums from left to right. But with the stereo file, it's a little bit different. Like this, tra this part right here, if we can hear if we go to the left, a little like keys moving. But over here, when I move it to the right, we're gonna lose this. So, what Live has done, you can right click on your pan control and get split stereo pan mode. So now what this does is allow us to move the left side to the right and the right side to the left. So I can take this slider, which is from my left channel, it's all the way to the left, and I can actually move it all the way to the right. And now we still hear these little key hits, this little guy here, and I can do the same thing with the left side. And this now happens on the left, and I can put them both on the left if I want. Or both of you. So we're getting the full stereo width, or I'm sorry, both stereo channels on one side of the mix. This is more, I think, what people thought panning was always doing, but it's actually not. This is now allowing us to control the placement of each side of a stereo track. This is really handy if you want to take a stereo track, maybe make it mono. You can set them both to zero, and we'll lose our stereo field. Or if you want to invert the placement of your stereo tracks, you can just do this. It's nice and easy to do. So, handy feature. Again, just right click and you can go back to just stereo pan mode or split stereo pan mode to get the differences. And this should help you a little bit with your mixing of stereo files in Ableton Live 10.